Hey everybody, this is The Fourth Year, and welcome to Tip Tuesday. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can mono a sound or make a sound mono by isolating the left or the right channels rather than by merging to mono. So sometimes you might have a stereo audio file that you want to use in your track as a centered mono sound, just because that's what's going to fit better with the mix. And in some cases, merging to mono is fine, sometimes that's what sounds best. But in other cases, merging to mono can uh, cause some problems. You know, maybe there's some phasing issues, or maybe there's a weird sound that you have in one channel that you don't have in the other. But, you know, whatever it is, sometimes it's better to isolate one of the channels instead of merging to mono. Um, so here's an example of a case where I would want to do this. Uh, if I play this lead, it sounds pretty good, I think, in stereo. But let's say I want to use it as a mono layer in a bigger sound with some other stereo layers. Unfortunately, when I merge this to mono, you know, set this 100% merged, it will be in mono, but you'll hear it loses a lot of its nice character that it has. You know, it kind of loses its crunchiness um, and has a weird, uh, really fast tremolo effect on it now. So maybe merging to mono isn't what I want to do. So instead, I'm going to use the Fruity Stereo Shaper on this mixer track, and I'm going to load up a preset. And the preset I want to load up is either going to be LR to LL or LR to RR. And so what these presets do is pretty much what they say. It takes it from um, LR in the left and the right channels to LL. So uh, this one isolates the left channel and plays it through both the left and the right. So you have essentially a kind of mono sound. And this one does the same thing, but with the right channel. So my recommendation is to try out both and see what sounds best to you. Uh, sometimes they're going to sound really, really similar. And other times there might be some more differences between the left and the right channel. So I'm going to select one of these and you should hear that it will be in mono now. And it should sound a lot better than when I merged it to mono. So that, you know, definitely sounds a lot better than if I turn this off and then merge it again. You know, using the stereo shaper to isolate the left channel sounds a whole lot better to me. And we can try out the other preset and see if it sounds any better, which sometimes it will. So they sound really quite similar. I think the um, left isolating the left channel sounds a little bit better, a little bit more crunchy. But you know, basically, go with whatever sounds best to you. So that's pretty much it for this video. You know, hopefully, if you run into this kind of problem in the future, now you know how to solve it effectively using the Fruity Stereo Shaper. And I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you thought it was helpful, please be sure to leave a like and maybe a comment if you have any questions or requests for future videos. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe and have a look around. I've already uploaded a bunch of tutorials, and I try to release new ones every week.